Okay, I want to go over a few uh, advanced, I guess, uh, mail topics. Uh, you'll find that using a Mac Mail um, is uh, is very convenient, very easy, to and a lot of things. Ha you'll notice that things happen that that uh, are very helpful. One of the things when you get an email, I want to show you is uh, when you hover when you hover over things, um, the little, these little boxes pop up. So if we go to let's go to this one, let's go to this one here. And if you click on this, you'll see a bunch of options. Reply to sender, new message, add to address book. That's a that's a handy one. You just click that, and and you can uh, you can enter it right right in your address book. We don't want to edit that anymore. We'll, and I'll just add what you want. You can add more. If you're watching before, I may not have been clear of how to change uh, how to edit um, contacts. Simply click this edit button here, and it brings it up. And then you can you know add more. Add more things that you've uh, set up in your uh, template that I showed you in the, in the previous movie, um, and then you click edit again, and it and it, and it, uh, it gets you out of that. So that's one of the things you can do. Another thing you can do is create a smart mailbox. Now this is nice if you're working with someone. You click this, and it brings up this pane here. So it says it contains messages that match all the following from contains me. That's fine. You can include sent messages, so you can include everything that you've ever sent to me, or I sent to you in a smart mailbox, and then it pops up over here. Now, all the, these are all the messages that I've ever sent to myself, and um, both to and from, and that's this is great to use for something like, you know, if you're working with a particular client and you want to have all their mailbox and all their information handy, all the messages that you sent to them, all the, all the messages you got from them, all in one place, then you can simply create a smart mailbox now you can do a lot of things with smart mailboxes you go up to uh, mailbox and you create new smart mailbox and then you can do all sorts of different things to do's uh, messages we'll go over to do's in a second from you know recipient or messages flagged I mean there's all sorts of different things contains attachments no attachments all sorts of different things you can get in there whatever makes sense to you that you might want to know um, whatever information that you want to know, depending on what you're working on, you can uh, set up smart mailboxes to have the, the uh, system, have the um, Mac mail do the work for you. Now, another thing I want to show you is these, these to-do items. Now, you notice on top here, there's a note and there's a to-do. Now, with to-do, you can simply just type it in, uh, what you want to do, let's say, uh, get the mail. And you'll, and, well, spelled that wrong. And um, you'll see that they, they integrate per, they integrate with with um, the calendar application that we will go over. You'll see that over here, there's this little button down here, this little thing here, and it'll 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 uh, show up right here. An easy way to make a to do is, let's say you get an email from someone. There's a new contact info, new contact information. Actually, we'll go to Mobile Me, and I've already made this into a to do. Let's say we gotta do another one. You're reading along and you think you have to do something, so you say, so you highlight it, and you click to do, and it picks up exactly what you highlighted and it adds you to your to-do list. So in this case, we'll go over to iCal and you'll see it's right here. So it, it, it's right there for you. If you like to-do lists, that's a really great way to get it done and uh, keep everything all in one place. And of course, you can check it. We'll go over more. We'll go over to-do stuff more in the. Um, in the uh, video on iCal, but that's one of the things that um, that Mac Mail lets you do. Also, you can send notes to people. So if you're you know if you're kind of uh, doing something, you just want to keep a quick note about something, you can click new note here. Or if you if your email if this is closed, just go over the the um, icon, right click, and compose new note. You can also compose new message from here, so you don't have to open up the whole thing. Um, and then you and then you click this and say you know get the mail and then you send it and they say so I'm gonna send it to myself and then you'll see it right here it'll show up in here 
And you actually send them what looks like the yellow pads as well. So you can send them to yourself, you can send them to someone else, you can send them to someone else in your office. It's just one of many ways that you can um, keep little notes to yourself. There's another application called Stickies that I'll go over separately that is a, um, a whole application dedicated to uh, papering your computer with sticky notes. But that's, uh, th those are, I just wanted to show you that. And there's one other thing I want to show There's this thing called RSS. It stands for Really Simple Syndication. And what it does is it gives you, for example, in mail, can be, it can be your RSS reader. Uh, a web browser often uses RSS readers. Google, um, Google Gmail accounts have RSS readers. Google Reader. There's a whole bunch of them. Me, I like using mail for an RSS reader because it delivers the, the stories um, <clears throat> right to my inbox. And so I can just kind of go through them and see if I want to read more. You know, I click read more and then it brings up the web browser. And it takes, takes me directly to the rest of that story. So that's a nice way to do it. Now, how to get to get RSS readers into into uh, mail? There's a couple of ways. First, you go to your mail preferences. Go to mail, and then go to preferences, and then go to RSS. And the default RSS RSS reader, a Mac out of the box will have Safari chosen, but you can choose mail as your default reader. And then when you're going along in your daily routine on the internet and you see something that you may want to um, may want to read up on for example go to one of my sites we'll go to uh, uh, OS Council and I want to I want to keep keep abreast of the news um, at OS Council click that and that will bring up RSS this is what RSS looks like um, inside of inside of Safari now this little button here is the button that adds um, a bookmark for the current page and you know this is an RSS feed because here it says feed. So click plus and we're going to add it to both Safari and Mail so I can read it in either place. So make sure Mail's click add it there like that. And then there you have it. Now I have RSS from my site and you can keep up on all of the all of the things that uh, that all the news releases from OS Council and I've already done it for um, Offsite uh, Law Center, and whenever you see whenever you see RSS, whenever you see one of these one of these little these icons, these orangey looking things, you just click on that and it'll give you the RSS. So here's I I syndicate this stuff independently. Here's here are the um here are the things for that. I'm gonna add this to both. Okay, add, and there's RSS for that. So. That that's a little bit about RSS and using mail as the uh, as the reader for RSS, and, um, and those are a couple of helpful things. I hope you uh, I hope you take advantage of mail, and I'm sure as you go through you will um, discover um, other things that uh, that you like and that are helpful. And if you do, please let me know and I'll add them to the list of things. Thank you very much.